So I never had any intention or thought that it would be used as a venue. I just wanted to build a reconstruction of, a lot of the house over there. But the festival came in and that meant that it became a venue almost immediately. It's the just best thing about a festival is that you've got a lot of people in a relaxed frame of mind coming together as an opportunity. It feels like a very special place and even almost a sacred place to a lot of people here. And no one's put it in those words, but I almost feel that people that have been here a long time kind of feel maybe that the Longhouse is almost like the soul of Nottingham. Sitting around a fire and sharing music is my favourite place to be in the world. So I found that here and uh, that had a profound impact on me doing that for days in a row sharing that kind of thing with people. I'd carry that back to my normal life and it would, it, would, uh, it would do me a lot of good, you know. So that was something that became a ritual to come here every year and just have that bit of grounding, meet lovely people and share music. I just think of these things as being an intrinsic, the wrong house as being an intrinsic part of many people's musical journeys. I've got friendships that I've made in the long house, people that I count as very close friends and I'll maybe only see them once a year here. You know, it's it's special. It's it's really special. It's something that can't that can't be found in many other places. Uh, very blessed with the space. A space is only as good as the people that are in it, and that makes this place really, really good. And I think you you create something and you build it, and they will come. It was a Hallam, a hall, a whole house, and a tourie and the tower. So I call it the Hallam Tourie. It was the house of the chief. Of in this case the chief of clan, it was the centre of a township. It wasn't the only building. There were other buildings which have long disappeared. The idea of the long house is meant to be a very natural space. It's meant to be a very, um, almost like something out of the old world before we had electricity and all the rest of it. Nobody knows how they were built. All we know is what we, is what we hear from Robbie Burns, and he calls them old clay biggins, that they weren't made of clay. The foundations ended up really quite deep and huge boulders, erratic boulders with the tracks and, and just put them in the pole around the, the base and then built them all in. These walls are 780 millimetres wide, but the fans are bigger. You couldn't count the people that have done this stonework. Just dozens of different people. So many people are involved to the very core of this place and and it's brilliant, they are creating magic, all of them, collectively. And it's been improved over the last 20 years, constantly, to the magnificent thing that we see today.